Tonight we're going to recognize and celebrate a number of student graduates as well as a goodly handful of, of our faculty and staff that have served these students so very well. But to you student graduates, remember the single, the single greatest accomplishment of all is that you're here. You've survived. You've graduated. You've completed this marathon of an experience that you began four years ago. Our third annual President's Award. This award recognizes a graduate who has made significant contributions to the community through service and humanitarianism. The award recognizes the commitment to service, outstanding character, and leadership throughout medical school. This could go to so many of you. I know it and you know it. But tonight, we recognize and celebrate student Dr. Christopher Thompson. Come up here, Dr. Thompson. The next award is my favorite award because it's the Dean's Award. The Dean's Award uh, recognizes a graduate who has demonstrated excellence in academics and leadership. And this person has been a leader throughout uh, their four years at the school. And I think you'll all agree that strong academics um, and just a tremendous person in all aspects um, of her career. And this is uh, the, the student doctor for the Dean's Award is Michaela Bowles. Michaela? Most likely to wear scrubs in public, student doctor Alex Hayes. <laughs> The valedictorian award goes to the graduate with the highest grade point average during the preclinical years among the class, and this award goes to student doctor Joshua Outslay. From the moment this individual walked through the doors of ICOM, his love for osteopathic medicine was evident. He served as SAAO president, leading the ICOM chapter to receive multiple national recognitions and chapter awards. It's with great pleasure that I present the Osteopathic Distinction Award to Phil Zeke. This research award recognizes a student, a graduate, who has demonstrated a commitment to research throughout their medical uh, school. And this award goes to Danya Abid Tarak. Most likely to get lost in the hospital is Sean Clements. <laughs> it's my honor to give the Clinical Excellence Award, which is uh, an award that recognizes the graduate's outstanding clinical prowess manifested in clinical skills, medical knowledge, an exemplary bedside manner. So this award goes to uh, Christina Schramm. So this award was established in 1993 to honor the memory of uh, Donna Jones Mortsuku, the beloved wife of Dr. Kenneth Mortsuku. So this is one of the most special awards given tonight because it's the only one not going to a medical student. From consoling their partner through setbacks to rejoicing in their achievements, their unwavering presence has been a source of solace and motivation for student Dr. Summers. Brendan Summers has been selected as the Donna Jones Memorial Award in recognition of his exceptional service. So first award is the Achievement Award. Combining academics, community involvement, service to school and research, most well-rounded student in your fourth year class. This goes to Michaela Bowles. <laughs> Next award is the Professionalism Award. A student who attempts to always conscientiously and wisely participate in clinical learning activities through proper words, actions, and consideration for others. And this award goes to Betsy Wall. The Legacy Award. 
in appreciation of a student's ingenuity and efforts in creating lasting opportunities for which future classmates will benefit. And this award goes to Christine Nguyen. The most likely to play bangers in the OR is Betsy Wall. <laughs> most likely to be sponsored by an energy drink is David Reese. <laughs> The most likely to quietly take over the world is Claire Posadas. We're so thrilled that you're here, that we can recognize you in ways that are serious and much less serious. But tonight, let's have some fun. And again, thank you for being here.